Hello and good evening guys. Today it's July 16th, 2022 and basically this is going to be my way of doing a weekly roundup and a channel update at the same time. So basically here's what's going to happen in the not too distant future. So after this video is filmed I am not doing any more videos until I have taken care of my viewer Donnell's viewer request uh, to do some videos about the reverse retro jerseys from last year in 2021. Um, truth is, guys, I am not particularly happy with how long it has been taking me to get to his viewer requests. And, you know... I have to be honest, I'm not particularly happy with myself with how long it took for me to finally get to my viewer Sean's viewer requests a year ago. So, I mean, if I'm going to take viewer requests in the future, I'd like people to not have to wait as long for me to get around to their requests. Uh, that is if I keep taking viewer requests, but... Once I am finished with this viewer request for my viewer Donnell, I'm probably not taking any more viewer requests anytime soon because there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff I want to do with this channel. Um, truth is, there's probably over a year, year and a half worth of videos that need to have updated tags and titles. And... I've been thinking it would be nice to basically go back to square one with this channel and I am not going to be doing that until I get Donnell's viewer requests uh, out of the way because I, as I said to him before, I, I don't want to move forward and do what I'm calling a channel reset till I have made sure that his viewer requests, uh, his viewer request becomes a reality. Um, I did a couple extra videos earlier this year, about a few months ago. And I would really like to uh, finish, uh, finish that off. So yeah, that's definitely coming soon. If you're wondering why I stopped there for a second, I thought I heard something on my roof or whatever. It might have just been uh, the filter beside me. It's a little water filter where I'm standing that makes some quite a bit of noise. Um, but anyway, I want to talk about the NHL draft recently. I got to admit, I'm absolutely shocked that that uh, one Slovakian player got drafted first overall by the Montreal Canadiens. I was not expecting uh, that Shane Wright to be the fourth overall draft pick. You know, if he was to go second or third overall even, okay. But fourth overall, when he was touted as the number one guy, I'm shocked. Something clearly went wrong. I mean... Could it have been his personality? Could it have been his attitude? Could it have been both? Could it have been injuries? I don't know, but I'm, I gotta say, guys, I am blown away that Shane Wright did not at least go second overall. I thought that was who Montreal was picking and who was going first overall. I had never heard of this Uri, however you pronounce his name, um, until the moment he got drafted by the Canadians. I mean, I cannot believe that Shane Wright went all the way down to the Kraken. And I got to admit, as a Canucks fan, I'm not particularly excited to see a player that good being drafted by Seattle. But uh, I will say this, though. If you are a Kraken fan, I don't think you're going to have to wait a whole lot longer before the team is somewhat decent. I'd say give it maybe... Maybe not this coming season. I do think they will be better this coming season than next than this past season. But I'd say give it another season or two. And I'd say that the Kraken are probably going to be a half-decent team. I mean, 
The Vegas Golden Knights are that one anomaly where they just showed up and almost won the Stanley Cup. Um, but the Seattle Kraken are a normal expansion team where, it, you know, they're not going to be good right away. It's going to take some time. It's what it is. But, um, but yeah, it's at least now we have an even number of teams in the NHL. Uh, but speaking of even numbers of teams in leagues, um, I know today, it's Saturday as I'm filming this, the Toronto Argonauts played the Rough Riders in the Touchdown Atlantic, which is a, which is an out, which is a football event in the CFL where they've been having one regular season game basically every season for the past while before the pandemic started where they'd have a game in I think Halifax or Moncton and anyway the idea was obviously to try and build mainstream support for a 10th team in the Maritimes I really hope that this time around we finally get to see an Atlantic Schooners team finally take off. I mean, the CFL desperately needs 10 teams. I mean, you see games being scheduled on weird days like Monday nights in Toronto because from my observation, what it seems like is they tend to schedule games on Monday nights in Toronto because they have the worst fan attendance. So it's like, okay, well, we'll pawn off these extra games to the Argonauts on Monday nights so that we can make our schedule work to accommodate an, an, an uneven amount of teams in the league. I mean, it's it's July. It's mid-July, and the BC Lions are already on their second bye week. Like, are you kidding me? That That's just not... That's just not... I don't know. That's just not... It's just not normal for a football league to have a team that's already had two bye weeks within the first, what, seven, six, seven weeks in the season. You know, they they need that 10th team desperately in order to make sure that schedules can be evenly balanced out. You know, I think it's great that they've offered an extra bye week in the CFL for all nine teams, but, you know... They gotta space it out better, I think. And they can't do that till they have an even number of teams. You know, it, it's just it's a mess having a ninth team and not having a tenth. And as I say that though, for the record, it's worth it to have Ottawa back in the CFL again. They should have never lost their team in the first place. But you know, guys, I, I just Yeah, it, it just really sucks. Um Seeing that uh, there's only nine teams in the uh, CFL right now. Um, obviously, with the whole pandemic situation, getting money for a new stadium is probably not a top priority for the Maritimes. And I completely um, understand why. It's obvious. I mean, but I'm hoping that uh, that we can see enough money and stuff get put together for a new stadium to be constructed in the Maritimes, whether it's Halifax or Moncton or wherever. Um, it would truly be fantastic to see. It really would. But at the same time, though, because they are in the Atlantic time zone, that's the only thing that I think would be a little bit of a bummer. So... I guess that would mean that Fridays, Friday night games would have to start at, what, 3 o'clock Pacific time? I mean, if they if they were able to get the game started at, say, I don't know, 3.30 in the afternoon Pacific time, 7.30 Eastern, I think that's reasonable. But, you know, starting a game on a Friday, their prime time night for football here in Canada at 3 o'clock Pacific time. I mean, unless they're doing a double header, I guess it's doable, but I don't know. I mean, is it worth the inconvenience for another team? Yeah, it is, but it's the only thing that sucks about the Maritimes is, is that they are in their own unique time zone because compared to the Pacific time zone, they're four hours ahead from where I live here on the West Coast, there's three hours ahead of the mountain time zone. 
um, they're two hours ahead of the central time zone and they're an hour they're even an hour ahead of the eastern time zone I mean that's crazy so I'm sure they'll make it work but I gotta admit you know that's going to be an interesting accommodation for scheduling, having that that extra, that fourth time zone in the Canadian Football League. Because if you think about it, you have BC in their own time zone on the West Coast, Pacific time. You have the Elks and the Stampeders in the Mountain time zone. You have Saskatchewan and Winnipeg in the Central time zone. And then you have... Montreal, Hamilton, Ottawa, and Toronto in the Eastern Time Zone. So, this nine-team league operates within four different time zones already. Pacific, Mountain, Central, and Eastern. They might just end up being the smallest professional sports league in the world with the most time zones. That's crazy. But yeah, I mean, as I say that though, that even though that'll be a bit of a hiccup for scheduling, at least it'd be better to have, you know, all 10 teams, an even number of teams. That would certainly be nice to see. It'd certainly be nice to see. Um, what else was I going to say at this point? Um... I'm going to just walk over here. I'm going to start to wrap this video up in the next minute or two. Um, <laughs> this is actually, this might make some of you laugh, but um, I've decided to move away from uh, the lights that I was aiming my camera at earlier, just now, up until just now, because I saw an owl in my backyard earlier, and uh, I've heard stories of owls... Um, going after sometimes uh, mistaking someone's hair or body or certain things on their body whether it's like a wallet or something for for prey and uh, I, I just don't want to have an owl swooping down on me while I'm not paying attention <laughs> I mean there's basically a 99.9% .9 chance it would never happen but I just don't want to take a risk because when I came home from work right where those lights are there was a big owl when i got home from work tonight yeah that was crazy um anything else that i think i should add at this point um i will say this it's gonna suck to see johnny goudreau uh leave calgary um but i don't know i don't know what's going on with the flames i can't believe how piss poor they played um in the playoffs in the second round against Edmonton they completely fell apart that was so disappointing I mean I'm proud of the Oilers for getting to the Western Conference final don't get me wrong but I felt the Flames had the best chance to really go for a serious run this year and to see them just fall apart so easily I thought they had the best chance against Colorado and to see them fall apart to Edmonton so easily that was a shame um but yeah, on a channel note, uh, yeah. Once this video does get uploaded to YouTube, I will not be doing any future videos beyond um, Donnell's video request until those are done. Uh, Donnell, if you're watching, I want to make sure your video request finally gets done. Um, I'm sorry for how long it's been taking, but... I don't want to keep you waiting anymore, and on top of that, I am planning on a full-blown channel reset coming soon, so get ready for that as well. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that, not going to lie. I think it needs to happen. Um, but besides all of that, guys, um, what else did I want to say? Was I think there was one more thing. Um, Yeah, anybody know why the BC Lions took the stripes off their helmets this year? I mean, it was such a downgrade. It was such a pointless change, too. And, you know, 
that was actually such a great that was the one of the few elements of their updated uniforms from three years ago that their current uniforms that I actually really like is the helmet. I mean the rest of their uniforms just a slightly upgraded mediocre uniform that's slightly better than the Adidas uniforms that replaced. But yeah, that's disappointing, I must say. Um But yeah, um anything else um oh yeah uh in the discord server i apologize for the lack of concepts this past week i was gonna get around to it but i just you know i have a certain concept that i really want to post but i didn't want to feature it late so i'm planning on uploading that tomorrow uh nick uh it'll be your one I think you still have one more concept um, that I need to feature in the Discord of yours, and then I'll be caught up. So that's what I'm planning on doing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, besides that, guys, I'll call it a wrap at this point. Uh, if there's anything you want to say down below, feel free to do so. And until my next video, which for at least the next two to three videos, I will be discussing reverse retro jerseys from last season in 2021. Um, that's what I'll be discussing for the next two to three videos. So uh, hopefully you all will be looking forward to that. And until next time, take care. And as always, uh, bye for now.